Good morning, folks. We've got a couple things to hit in the satellites and the journals. We'll look at the major storm that hit Europe, a multi-centennial mini-cycle that was present during the last glacial period, and how Earth's plasma is important for space weather. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and there are two items of note. The incoming coronal hole will face Earth today, and the large plasma filament on the north has erupted. You can see that happening here. It was a partial eruption and partial collapse with peripheral filaments destabilizing as well. A large-scale eruptive moment on the sun, and it is very likely that this one produced a CME that will deliver a glancing blow to Earth. We can see that eruption on Soho Lasco coronagraphs as well, and it appears almost as a halo event, and the chances are good that part of the eruption is heading our way. Expected to arrive between Sunday and Monday, Monday night and produce minor geomagnetic storms. The sunspot situation will be monitored as well, fairly concentrated to the southern hemisphere. It should be noted that the few M-class solar flares we've had in the last few days have all come from the incoming group just cresting the limb. Definitely complex with multiple sunspot umbra. We'll be watching that too. Folks, here's a quick look at the extratropical system that brought more than 100 mile per hour winds to Europe. Roaring wind and water levels where it made landfall, major flooding in Italy, over a dozen dead and that number is likely to rise. Good paper up next on multicentennial cycles of ocean temperature and circulation. These would have been even shorter than the Dansgaard Oeschger cycles and were important for impacting the climate on a broader scale during the up and down of that pattern. Cycles of this length, by the way, are generally solar forced. Lastly, folks, a good one on the influence of Earth's ionosphere in determining the severity of space weather events. The mixing of upper-level plasma with CME impacts can contribute to the overall electrical power of the disruption. It's a good deep dive in detail for that one. Don't forget, tickets to Observer Ranch event on November 18th. It is the last chance to get your name on the Observer Ranch founder wall and get your limited edition mug. And folks, we are only going to have pre-orders up another few days. The order is almost spoken for, and after that, they won't go back on sale to the end of the year. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.